Ladies and gentlemen. We got another joint operation banner in CC7. This time include a very awesome 6 stars, that are easy to use and quite cheap to build. But before talking about those operators, let me give a quick intro about this banner. In the joint operation banner, you can only obtain the 6 star and 5 star, that are featured in this banner. When you get a 6 star, 25% chance it will be Saga, Schwartz, Phantom or Serpa. And same thing with the 5 stars. Also, this banner share the same pity with your standard banner. Okay, now let's see each of the operators in this banner. Starting with the 6 stars, the 6 stars are all a great choice to have and build. First, let's see Saga. Saga is an awesome pioneer vanguard thanks to her massive AoE damage with skill 2, and SP battery utility with her talent. Her skill 2 is her most efficient skill to use. That will allow her to kill enemies that are critically wounded. And overall the best way to gain DP when using her. But if you need a more DPS skill, you can use her S3. She's a cheap unit to build and good for newbie, at E1 you already get her best skill. Next up is Schwartz. Schwartz main usage is to inflict defense debuff to enemy. And kill them with a high amount of damage with her skill 3. Her other talent is also useful to buff herself and other sniper. Thanks to her talent and skill 3, Schwartz can deal a high amount of damage. To a full armored enemy, and even become a good boss killer. She's also a good operator for newbie, and to invest for that skill 3 boss killing skill. Next up we got Serpa. Serpa is a very awesome arts guard, thanks to her big arts damage from her skill, and her talent to ignore some of enemy resistance. Serta main skill is her skill 3. It has a high damage potential to multiple enemies. That is definitely a boss killer skill. Her E2 talent is useful to make her stay a bit longer in the battle when her HP dropped to 0. Serta is a great pick for newbie, as her E1 abilities are still useful. And overall she's a monster after her E2 promotion. Last but not least, we got Phantom. Phantom is a 3-in-1 fast redeploy. As he can block physical attacks, can inflict high DPS, and has a crowd control. Though people usually use him for his assassination skill too. Which again is a good thing for newbie, or those who don't have resource to E2 him immediately. The most unique thing is that he can summon a clone that has the same ability as him. But the usual drawback that Phantom has, is that because of his rarity and 5 DP clone, Deploying them multiple times can drain your DP pretty fast. But good thing we got his own module that helped this issue. Which can refund 80% DP that you use to deploy him. And as most of you already know. In the upcoming event you will get his free L2D skin. Now moving to the 5 stars. I must say the 5 stars are mediocre, or a more niche type of operators. Let's see April, a marksman sniper. April has a faster redeployment time, and a passive skill to that makes her invisible for some time. This ability will make her become some sort of fast redeploy sniper. A good option to assassinate a ranged enemy like the mortar unit, or some drones. Next is Aeoscarp, a lord guard. Aeoscarp can give a small attack speed boost to operators near him. And inflict arts damage with his skill. But he does require other operator in order to make the most of his skill. And his S2 has a pretty big SP cost. Which sometimes make him quite complicated to use. And then we got Beeswax, a phalanx caster. She can summon an obelisk, which upon impact will deal high amount of arts damager. Stun the enemies for some time, and block them. While Beeswax will also attack all enemies within her range. But the biggest drawback of this archetype, is they cannot attack enemies when their skill is not active. But luckily for beeswax, her SP cost is quite cheap. And she can act as some kind of bait while her skill not active. Overall she can be a good addition to your squad if you need multi-targets caster. Next up we got Flint, a brawler guard. As a brawler guard she does her job pretty well. Though she might need another bloker behind her to make the most of her. Then we got Iris, a mystic caster. She can inflict sleep debuff to two enemies, 
and delay Oyard's damage upon waking up. Not really a reliable choice for DPS or even a crowd control. Since she got a medium SP cost, and her target can be quite random. Lastly, we got Meteorite, an artillery man sniper. A decent sniper with the ability to deal splash attack. Her S2 can inflict a defense debuff that can be useful to weaken a specific enemy. Or use her S1 for a more consistent DPS. So, should you pull in this banner? The 6 stars are absolutely a useful bunch, and Serta is perhaps the main target here. But I don't think the 5 stars are that helpful in meta gameplay. If you don't have any of the 6 star, you should pull in this banner. If you only have one of them, probably yes. But having 2 or 3 of the 6 stars, you should skip this one. As this kind of banner can make it hard to pull for a specific operator. That should be all. Adios.